Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about one of the biggest mistakes that I see event decorators and balloon artists making. Now, I am not here to judge you guys because I made this mistake when I first started my business. And even after I got some experience under my belt, I would still make this mistake when I got really excited about an opportunity or when a client brought me a theme that I haven't done before, right? I would get super excited and then make this mistake. So I wanna talk about that in this video, all right? So let's get started. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, what is the mistake? Will she just tell us? Before I tell you, let me tell you this story first. So I had this recent experience with a potential client that reached out to me for last minute decorations. Now, I typically do not take any last minute events. Clients have to book me within three weeks of their events. I just decided this year that last minute events are just too much for me. It's just too much stress. It's just too much. But I had a client who reached out to me a week before their event. And because the theme of the event was so cute, I decided to make an exception, right? So they were reaching out to me for decorations and I pretty much told them the process. They have to go on my website and fill out the inquiry form. I need pictures of the decorations that they're looking for. And we ended up going back and forth through text message. So they sent me pictures and then I ended up sending them back some pictures to show them what I could do at the last minute, okay? Now me and the client was going back and forth for a few days and they seemed very interested in booking my decorations. They text me a video of the venue. They were sending me their child's name and things to put on the balloon backdrop. They were sending me the layout of the room and showing me the tables and everything. So it seemed very promising. Remember guys, I told you that we only had a week to get everything planned and everything booked. And I was going back and forth with this client for at least three days. So halfway through the week, I had to say to the client, like, you absolutely have to book. In order for me to decorate your event, I have to have a deposit, a signed contract, right? Like, I need to order whatever it is that I need to order. Like, we have to get this finalized. So once I started rushing the client to make a decision, I pretty much gave that client a price and I told them that they had to make a payment by the end of the day. Like I needed a full payment so that I could plan to decorate for their event. But guess what guys, they did not end up booking me. Once I told them the price, once I broke everything down to them, once I explained my process and why I was charging them, the amount that I was charging them, they ended up deciding to decorate the event themselves, right? But let me tell you, when I was new in this industry, when I first opened my business, if I were in this situation, guys, I would have started ordering decorations. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that I see people making is that they start ordering decorations. They start getting prepared for the event before the client has even paid their deposit and before the client has even signed the contract. So this is one of the biggest mistakes that I see people making. I have made this mistake too, because of course you get really excited. You get really excited based off of the opportunity. You get really excited based off of the event. And sometimes you get really excited because you need the money, right? So that is one of the biggest mistakes that I see people making is starting to order decorations and starting to get prepared for an event before the client has paid anything. I have made this mistake even with past clients. So let's say that a client has already booked my decorations and booked my services. There were times where they would reach out to me for a different event and they would wanna book more decorations. 
And I would just start ordering. I would just start preparing for their event without having a contract, without having any payment, because I trusted them. I trusted that because they have booked me in the past, that they would book me again. I have had to learn the hard way with that. That's not the case. Just because someone has booked you in the past does not mean that they're going to book you again, especially if you have gone up on your pricing since the last time that they booked you. OK, so guys, please make sure that before you start planning for a client's event, before you drop everything right for a client's event, before you start ordering decorations, this is a big one. Because you do not want to start ordering decorations and putting money into a client's event if they have not paid you anything. Now, it's one thing to order decorations off of Amazon because for the most part, you can return those decorations. You have to be careful though, because sometimes you cannot return the things on Amazon. Sometimes you get free shipping but you don't get free returns. So you wanna make sure that you're paying attention to that. But why invest any money into a client if they have not invested any money into you, right? The client has to show you that they're serious. And I understand that sometimes, you know, clients will say things like, oh, just send me the contract, just send me this, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna sign it right away or I'm gonna pay the deposit right away. Until they actually do that, it's just a conversation. It's all talk, right? And the contract is just as important as the deposit, okay? Because with this client, if they would have sent me a deposit, I would have still made them sign the contract. You just never know when it comes to events. You never know. The client can cancel at the last minute or change something at the last minute or say, oh, well, I didn't agree to this and this is not what I want, right? So a contract is just as important as the deposit because you want to make sure that you have a legally binding document that sets expectations and it says exactly what you're going to do for the client right? So you don't want to, you do not, that's another mistake that I see people making is that even though they get the payment, right? They receive payment from clients. They'll just go and decorate without a contract. I have heard horror stories with people's decorations being stolen, people's decorations being damaged, right? something coming up at the event, you want to make sure that you have a contract. Guys, if you need a contract template, just make sure you check the description of this video because I have contract templates available for you. If you offer balloon decorations, if you're decorating the whole event, if you're doing event rentals, I have contract templates available for you. All right, guys. So I just wanted to make this quick video to talk about the biggest mistake, one of them, that I see people making when it comes to an event. I completely understand that we get excited. For me, if a client comes to me with a theme that is super cute, or a color scheme that I have not done before. And I'm just super excited for the opportunity to even be able to decorate. I end up getting ahead of myself because I wanted to be prepared for the event. Every single time I have gotten ahead of myself, every single time I did not wait for that client to sign the contract and pay their deposit, I ended up regretting it. That's the thing. I know that a lot of times we want to believe the best in people, right? We want to believe that if we're investing all of this time into a client's event, right? If the client sees that we're really interested, if the client sees that we're going out of our way to accommodate them, we just want to believe that they're going to follow through and they are going to book us. And guys, that's just not the case. That is just not the case. Unfortunately, you will have people who will waste your time. They may not take it seriously. They may just be shopping around for information. Or like in my case, 
they may not want to spend the money, right? So once you tell them the price and once you start breaking things down to them, then they may say, nope, I don't want to pay that much. All right, so before I close out this video, you know I have to remind you guys that I have classes available for you. So if you're having a hard time with pricing, I have a pricing class that's starting next month. If you're having a hard time with finding the right client, I have a marketing class next week on Thursday, okay? So I'm gonna put the links in the description so that you guys can check out my classes and sign up for whatever classes that you want. Also, as I mentioned, if you need a contract template, I have contract templates available for sale on my website, all right? If you guys have any other questions, please let me know, and I'll see you in my next video.